there, I'm Jeanette Lane for Australian Simply Cards. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how to make this card with your Lavish Label Layers gift that's included in issue 121. Now, I really had a lot of fun making this card because I did a little bit of like, I made like a vintage sort of wine bottle here and had a lot of fun distressing my paper to get a vintage kind of aged look. So I'm really excited to share that with you. So let's jump into the tutorial. So here is the gift set up close and this is what I'm gonna be working with to make my card. And if you can see here, it's a little bit dirtied up because I've been busy playing and creating. So when you flip this over, you see the backside has a wine bottle template that you can use for your projects and that's what I used for my wine bottle. Now a tip for whenever you have any template of any sort in a magazine or maybe you print one out on the computer because uh, you find it online, you know, what you can do is trace your template in acetate and cut it out and save that. I feel like if you would cut this out, it just, I mean, it's sturdy, it's made of cardboard, so it will last, but it's so much easier if you just take a piece of acetate and a Sharpie marker or a permanent marker of some sort, trace it and cut it out and then just keep it in your stash. Acetate is a little bit thicker so it's just gonna make for a longer lasting template. So what I'm gonna do is just trace, trace my wine bottle and then I'm going to cut it out. So here's my template and now I'm going to just cut this out with some scissors and then we can continue on to the rest of the card. My wine bottle is done, so I'm just gonna set this aside and I'm gonna get to working on the rest of the wine bottle and I'm gonna focus on the vintage aged label. Now, in case you are unfamiliar with how to create, give your paper that sort of vintage distressed look, what you're gonna need is some inks. I like distress inks for distressing paper. They're just so easy to work with and you're gonna need various shades of beiges to browns. So I'm gonna be using dried marigold gold, tea dye, rusty hinge, and for the darkest color, uh, it's gathered twigs. And what I'm gonna do is take my lightest color, so start off with the lightest color, and this is just a piece of white cardstock. And I like to start in the center with the lightest color and then work my way outwards. So I'm just doing little circular motions, doing a little bit of color blending. And now I'm gonna move on to tea dye, which is just one shade lighter than the dried marigold. And I'm gonna work around, like in circles, around the dry marigold, so kind of going outwards and getting darker. Next, I'm grabbing Rusty Hinge, and again, just doing circular motions around my previous colors, going outward, starting with the lightest colors in the center, and then radiating outward. So I'm gonna take a pause in my distressing of my paper to die cut my label shape because I want to concentrate the gathered twigs on the edges of my label. So I'm gonna grab my label die here, this outer label die from the Lavish Labels Layers gift set. And I'm gonna put that, die cut that in my Sizzix fold away machine. So now that I've die cut my label, I can concentrate the gathered twigs distressing on the edges. So I'm just doing little circular motions around the edges of my die cut, my little label die cut, which is really cute. And I'm gonna be using this same die cut, the same die, sorry, throughout my card. Now I wanted to add a little bit of gray to my label. I feel like when you see aged paper, it has kind of like a dusty, <laughs> a dusty tone, a dusty layer <laughs> to, to it as well. And so I'm gonna be using pumice stone and just kind of tapping it here and there throughout my label. 
So here's what this looks like now. And if you feel that the center of your label is a little bit too dark, then you can take a baby wipe or a wet paper towel and just kind of rub this out, the center out and remove, lift some of that color from your label. So while I'm waiting for my vintage label to dry because it did get a little bit wet from the baby wipe, but that's okay, that's just gonna dry on the side and then I can work on my bottle meanwhile. So for my bottle, I'm using green. I felt like that was a more classic color kind of wine bottle. So now I'm gonna use my template that I cut out of acetate and I'm going to trace that onto my green cardstock. There is my wine bottle shape. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a uh, traced in pencil, so it's really faint. But what I'm gonna do next is cut out my wine bottle, but I wanted to give it a glassy sort of effect. So what I did is I added a layer of acetate. So here's the acetate that I was using earlier. So I'm just going to layer that on top and cut my wine bottle layer. So the acetate layer and the green cardstock at one time. It just seems easier that way and it saves time. So I'm just holding this really tight so that it doesn't shift around and I'm cutting my wine bottle. So here is my wine bottle. I've got the green layer and the acetate layer and I'm going to set that aside and put my label on top there. So I wanted to give my wine bottle a burgundy lid and so I have a little scrap piece of burgundy and I'm taking just the top portion of my wine bottle and tracing the lid with a pencil and then I'm gonna cut that out. I wanted to add more interest to my wine bottle so what I'm gonna do is stamp a pattern, a little vine pattern on it. So I'm using the stamp here in the set and I've mounted it to my um, stamping block and for my ink I'm gonna use a green ink because I want it to be a very subtle pattern and this is the Nouveau Hybrid ink pads and this is dried oregano. So I'm just inking up my stamp. So now I'm just creating a repeating pattern all across the wine bottle with this gorgeous stamp. Here's my wine bottle up close thus far. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of ink along the edges of my bottle. So this is the color Peeled Paint, still using the Distress Inks, I really love Distress Inks, and also the hybrid, uh, Nouveau Hybrid ink pads are really great. So I'm just gonna work on the edges of my wine bottle and I'm darkening, darkening them up. That was a little hard for me to say. Why is that word so hard to say, darkening? <laughs> okay, that was much better. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just darkening the edges of my wine bottle, accentuating them. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing to my burgundy lid, my wine lid, but for that I'm gonna use fired brick. I wanted to assemble my wine bottle, but I need to stamp my sentiment onto my label. So I'm using Aged to Perfection, which is here on your Lavish Label Layers gift set. And for that, I'm gonna be using London Fog, which is a gray color, and this is Memento. So Memento London Fog. And I didn't want to use black ink because I thought that was going to be too stark. And if this is indeed a vintage wine bottle, then the black would be faded. And so I figured it would be more kind of like a gray color. I'm going to do one more stamp on this vintage label. I'm going to use this outline stamp here. I feel like it adds a little bit more interest to my card and to stamp. So I've mounted my stamp. There it is. And for the ink, I'm going to be using gathered twigs. Now I'm gonna put my wine bottle together and I'm going to make sure that this piece of acetate is on top <laughs> of my green cardstock. And I'm going to mount my label with some foam tape because I do want that label shape to pop up just a bit. So here is my little foam tape. I'm removing the release paper and I'm going to position that right on the acetate. So there's my label on my acetate portion of my wine bottle. And now I'm gonna grab my adhesive and I'm going to glue, so I'm gonna add adhesive on top of the acetate here, and then I can put that directly onto my green cardstock, 
Now, because this is acetate, you're gonna have trouble finding glue that is clear. So it's kind of like with vellum, you need to strategically, strategically place your glue in places that will be concealed. So my glue is behind my <laughs> label shape, and now I have a wine bottle. The acetate is stuck to that green layer, so it's not gonna budge. Now the same thing goes with the lid. So I'm gonna glue the lid onto the acetate, and then I'm going to lift it up up and glue it right to the green card stock below. So all of my liquid adhesive, which would have left a, a terrible mess here on the acetate, is now concealed behind my label shape and also my lid. Okay, so here is my wine bottle all assembled. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to create this little label border for my card front. Now for this label border, what I did was I grabbed a piece of blue cardstock and also the label outline die that's on the gift set, and I die cut that a few times. So I'm gonna die cut that in blue. So here are my die cut labels, and I wanted to add a little bit of interest, so I'm grabbing this label stamp here. I mounted it to my stamping block, and I'm gonna be using Laguna Bay. I really love tone-on-tone -tone stamping. I feel like it gives your cards more interest, but in a subtle way. Now that my labels are stamped, I'm going to trim them down the center with my paper trimmer, and then I can mount them onto my card front. Now for my card front, I have a piece of purple cardstock, and I've taken my aged to perfection stamped sentiment and just did a repeating pattern all across with the color uh, Spanish sangria. So now I'm gonna mount my stamped and trimmed label shapes onto my card. And for my adhesive, I'm using the Creative Expressions Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic Glue. This is what it looks like, but now I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim off the excess. Now it's time to mount everything to my card base because that's all done and complete. So for my card base, I'm using a piece of burgundy cardstock, which matches my little wine lid, <laughs> my wine bottle lid. And what I did was take this same uh, ivory, not ivory, sorry, vine stamp, and I stamped just the edges all along to add more interest to my card. And for the ink, I used the same as Spanish Sangria. And again, I love that tone on tone stamping. It just gives it just a little bit more interest, but in a subtle way. So now I'm just gonna put everything together. So I'm gluing my card base to my card. Now I'm just gonna put everything together. So I'm gluing my card front to my card base with my acrylic glue. And then to mount my wine bottle to my card front, I'm gonna be using a long strip of foam tape just to make my little wine bottle pop right off the page. And I'm done with my card. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you go out and grab your issue of Australian Simply Cards, issue 121, and get that lavish label layers gift set. It's really great, versatile, you can do so much with it. I'm Jeanette Lane for Australian Simply Cards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.